Good morning and welcome. This is Mission Control Houston. This morning, a Cygnus cargo spacecraft supporting Northrop Grumman's 18th Commercial Resupply Services mission, which launched from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility on Monday, 4.32 a.m. Central, 5.32 a.m. Eastern. Cygnus has successfully completed its... Cygnus successfully completed its milestones immediately after launch, including spacecraft separation and orbital insertion. After our coverage concluded, Cygnus attempted to deploy its solar arrays. It successfully deployed one wing, but received indication that the second wing did not fully deploy. Ever since, teams at Northrop Grumman have been assessing the non-staged solar array, and it's believed that the solar array made it to a partially staged configuration, partially deployed. To remain focused on the spacecraft's arrival at the space station, Northrop Grumman and NASA made the decision not to deploy the second solar array after initial attempts to deploy were unsuccessful. Teams expect to get a better view as the spacecraft approaches the International Space Station and do plan to take additional imagery of the spacecraft. Getting live views now of Northrop Grumman's flight control room in Dulles, Virginia. Station Houston on two. Cygnus range is 1,000 meters. Monitor long range approach per step one in 1.102. Cygnus approach and retreat monitoring. Station copies at 1.102, step one, and we've got it in sight. Houston copies.
Artemis has reached its 30 meter hold point. You can see the astronaut zooming in to allow flight controllers to get a better look of the car Cygnus cargo spacecraft. You can see the top solar array is deployed, while the bottom one is on in a partially staged configuration, partially deployed. Um, teams in mission control are going through a go, no go pull to proceed through the 30 minute hold point now. All right, Houston copies. Uh, Cygnus is ready to proceed to the capture point. Expect approach to resume shortly. Station copies. Cygnus has begun moving through the 30 meter hold point, heading towards about 10 to 11 meters away from the International Space Station for NASA astronaut Nicole Mann to use the robotic arm to grab onto the grapple fixture on Cygnus. Cygnus has reached its capture point and a go no go pull is underway. Station Houston on two. Go for Cygnus capture sequence. Step four in one decimal one one zero Cygnus capture. Begin monitoring the backaway cue card. Station copies. We are go for Cygnus capture. And we have confirmation that the SSRMS robotic arm on the International Space Station is moving. Slowly but surely, that SSRMS robotic arm is making its way towards Cygnus, locked onto the grapple target. The arm is two and a half meters away from Cygnus. one meter away. We have capture and are standing by for snares closed.
and these snares have closed. Basically, the hand of the robotic arm has closed its fingers around the grapple fixture. The Cygnus cargo spacecraft supporting Northrop Grumman's 18th Commercial Resupply Services mission was successfully captured at the controls of NASA astronaut Nicole Mann using the station's robotic arm at 4.20 a.m. Central as the International Space Station was flying over the Indian Ocean. We certainly agree with her, that from Leo. The stars do not look bigger, but they certainly look brighter. A huge congratulations to the NG-18 team for their tireless efforts in getting Sally Ride to the ISS and for a successful capture today. You have a go for Cygnus post-capture reconfiguration. Houston copies all excellent work, Duke and Josh, and welcome to the ISS SS Sally Ride. Uh, we want to reiterate the heartfelt congratulations to the NG team on behalf of MCC Houston, and we're all very happy to see Cygnus finally captured.